Hi guys, Dorota Palicka International, Neil Artis and Educator here and I'm in with Olivia. We actually have put the tips on and we start doing the nails and then I was like, okay, why actually we don't record it? So here we are for you guys. Um, I didn't do any cuticle work yet. She usually has a minimal cuticle work since she was a child. <laughs> and I'm quite happy because this way her cuticles don't look too bad, especially after all the filing is done. They actually look um, quite nice. So I didn't do any cuticle work. I have just removed some fiber gel, uh, which she had on her nails. There are actually some bits and pieces left of it on some of the nails. Because when you're doing uh, hair nails, you don't want to like over file them even a tiny, tiny bit. So now I'm applying a universal air bond on the natural nail plate. And then we are going to do some marbles and you say butterflies. Okay. She's going boring. Marbles and butterflies. <laughs> well, let's do that. So I'm going to use the um, milky pink. And that's like a very natural pink color. And then um, we will use the first layer as our kind of... So Universal Air Bond works as a base gel. And now I'm also doing an additional base layer with the gel. Like very nice and thin everywhere. So with this layer, you can get really close to the cuticles. You can encapsulate the things. And and also, it protects your client's nails from the heat spike as well. Um, it definitely does. So here is another scoop, like very small. Like I have hardly any um, product at the one side of the brush, hardly any product on the tip. And I'm just strongly massaging it into the nail plate and into the tips. And then another one. And another one. So depending on the temperatures, you will do one, two, three, four, five nails. Today is just normal, so I can do actually all five. I put it inside. Then we are going to cure it. Ideally, I like to cure it um, like the full cure, which is a 60 seconds. And then I've got 60 seconds to apply the product on the other hand i actually love this nail like the shape of it is unbelievable and her nails are longer than mine crazy so yeah this nail is really nice and pretty okay nice and thin do you've got a specific order in mind for your nails so we do some marble on the thumb because i have already done it boring and then the butterflies and the glitter on those two yeah or those two? Uh, yeah? Ring and index. Ring and index. Yeah. Or those two? I was thinking that, but because that one's got the uh, white mark. It wouldn't I, be I, visible. I know, I know we'd cover it, but... We would cover the water, the, the, the mark. Do you know what is this mark? It's a wee air pocket. Yes. Oh, well done. Yeah, it's not a... Okay, change. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just checking her knowledge. <laughs> cool. So, what was the order? Uh, <laughs> it's either these two or these two. I'm not sure. Swap them then. See, I love the shape of your index finger. Mm -hmm. I think it's so pretty. So, what would you like to do on that then? Nothing. Just keep it at play. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty on its own. Okay, let's do the marble on the pinky. Yes. Definitely on the pinky marble. Know that for sure. Yeah. So we're applying a nice and thin layer and then we're picking up a decent scoop of the product. That's not decent enough for this lens. <laughs> Gosh, sorry guys, this is going to be a fun set. This is a decent amount of the product. And then we are going to work both. Look at my left hand. So my left hand is twisting Olivia hand one side other side one side other side till i reach the free edge and then this way we've got a product on the entire set we can touch it up with the brush to make it even nicer and then it is ready to cook change i don't like doing that order i always go like 
the... from yeah i don't know it's just a my kind of thing guys do you've got it as well because what i have noticed it so basically if you if you see me working i my uh change i need to show that <laughs> i think it's cool so i'm always pinky. working pinky reindex in there this one this one this one change and then this one this one this one this one and this one it's funny because people start quite often from the pinkies. pinkies i do pinkies you don't start from that i do pinkies because i do the thumb last yeah but i and do I this one my way in right. back okay i work <laughs> i like to just work that way mm, it's funny so it was weird for me to to do it on the pinky oh no we took it did you put it inside yes you did oh gosh yes yeah, so we <laughs> cook it pinky we did cook the pinky So then pick up another scoop of the product. <clears throat> yeah, so let me know actually what order you do guys um, doing the nails. As I say, I do from the pinky to the thumb and then from the index finger to the pinky to the thumb. <laughs> That's funny. I have actually noticed it as only me probably who does that. I, I didn't meet any other nail technician. Everyone is doing from pinky to pinky. No, from pinky to thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next one. So this one is going to be glitter, and this one will be glitter, and this this to glitter, this one marble. Yes, yeah. I made you confused. <laughs> I decided. You said two different things. Yes, I did. I decided on the go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so marble is gonna be here. Again, picking up a really nice and decent scoop. Get it out from this side of the brush. You don't want it there. And then. Let's build up our structure very close to the cuticle, but not too close. Like leave it even one and a half millimeter gap because your product is going to run in there. I also have removed the air bubble, which I had in the middle by shaking my brush. And look that I'm keeping the contact with the product entirely all the time. I do not lift my brush up from the nails. Change. The the shape wasn't perfect. You could see it like at the end I could do with a tiny bit more product. But to be honest, you better off leaving it uh, alone and not touching it. Because once you start messing about too much when you've got such a big bulk of the product, like I mean the, the scoop I'm picking up is really huge. Uh, you would end up um, with the gel just running everywhere. And it's better to cure it and then if it's necessary you will go back and just redo it. Also working with such a big ball helps you to um, get a smoother surface so I feel like you've got less filing to do it later on mm -hmm. and uh, look that I'm also trying to do almost like a reverse French where my side walls aren't as thick and then I can touch it up those and change. Okay so that's the glittery ones. Nice and thin layer again and same in here and at the same time I'm doing like a microscopic apex <laughs> like a really tiny one the reason for it is I don't want to later on file it through it um, the entire like so much product. Now we've got uh, two different sets of the glitters with some butterflies so the cute ones and those ones as well and Olivia I've got dilemma which one she wants but she wanted those pink sets so like I actually quite like I those. Pink and white. Pink and white yeah okay so maybe we should go for this ones but they are different pieces as well in there is that mm -hmm. okay? Yeah that's fine. Okay, so I'm using usually my cuticle pusher to open it up. Oh, I like this coral. Pink. Pink. Okay, let's do pink. I okay. don't want coral. No coral. Okay. No coral. no coral. Pink. Let's go pink. It needs to oh. match my jacket. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. You've got pink jacket. Okay, now I'm going to grab some sort of old brush. The messier, the better, to be honest. Like, you really guys want to have a nice and messy brush with no product on it so like no product nice dry brush and then we are picking up those glitter particles pretty mm -hmm. oh 
Oh, there's a heart in there. There's hearts, moons, stars, and butterflies. Okay. Maybe, if I remember. Cool. Sorry, I have picked everything except the butterflies. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Oh, well. Okay, I quite like it in a sort of baby boomer way. So what I'm doing now is... I'm just touching it up with the finer product on the top. I'm getting rid of the butterflies because Olivia wanted butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one is pretty. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got butterfly. Mm -hmm. Yay! Okay, I'm searching for some more. Yay! And then we are going to use the gel sponge to flatten our glitter. So just tap it, don't press too hard. Uh, just tap it a little bit and then we can cook it. Okay, second hand the same. So nice and thin. Mini, mini apex. It's not even an apex, like a little bit more product on the nail bed. And then another scoop of those glitters. So I'm trying to put those thinner out on the top. And then on the bottom, like quite a large particles of those glitter with everything in it except the butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I knew what you wanted the butterfly set. I didn't do it for a reason. <laughs> no, I get rid of the star. That's it. Okay, and then dive in to cut some butterflies. I remember I was doing Juliet's nails and we had to pick out like 50 butterflies. But uh, from the other, that's no, why like this, I like, from, this, from this one. From this, because we wanted the glitter. The other ones are nice, the silver ones, I like the silver ones, I think they are so pretty. Change? Uh, no, don't change, will be lots of filing. Touch it in, and the reason for it is then you've got less less filing because no glitter particles are sticking out. Change, and that's it. Finish it. No. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that went so fast. She couldn't pick up the hardest, uh, harder set. <laughs> okay, I'm using the clear fiber gel. Normally I don't use clear, but actually I have finished crystal one, so I will use this one. Um, and also the temperatures allowed me to do it as well in the winter time not a chance like I, I like to work with the thinner gels uh, the better for me do you want a no that's nice actually do I want more too late now but do I want more more butterflies yeah, sorry. and a thin scoop in there like make sure you do really cover your glitter thick enough because otherwise once you start filing you will file through it okay so that's my furry edge entirely encapsulated on both of those nails now on both and then picking up a small scoop of the product to build up my apex like much smaller than on the other nail because we have already created a mini one um, before we have place the glitter in there and you already have two thin layers yes as well as the glitter layer yeah so you don't want to have too much product now the temperature still allows me to do it the same in here awesome change and then we do it here too this is actually such a quick set mm -hmm. Like really quick. Mm -hmm. You should do it to the clients. I have. You have yes. done it. 
butterflies and marble or baby boomer. It's really nice and simple, simple but really effective. effective. Mm -hmm. You're using the same words I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's mean it is really simple and eff effective. Mm -hmm. I love the shape of the snail, even when it's unfiled. Mm -hmm. Pick up another scoop. And this way, guys, the snails are ready for filing and the next step of the of the design. I think I will add something through it as well. But I actually like those delicate look of the quicker. Mm -hmm. Curage, 60 seconds cure. Okay, they are just finishing cooking. So before we can uh, start uh, anything uh, with the files, we should close all your products. And that's what I'm doing uh, quickly now. Uh, I store my brush in a drawer uh, without a lid, actually. Like, I do not put the lid on it. I just store it uh, in a drawer so it doesn't have access to any um, daylight. Yeah, because that will cure and damage your brush. Uh, UV cleanser to remove the inhibition layer. And the right hand is ready. So I'm just removing it. And then we can shape this set of the nails. I will actually show you on the one hand and then do the other hand on my own. Um, I'm filing one side. You never had them this long, actually. No, no. Well, I did them myself. But did I only you? Had one hand. Okay. I might even have them longer. But I only did do one hand. So, so this way, the shape already has improved. I didn't want to do them too thick, especially the marble ones as well, because uh, the marble can add some thickness to the design itself, uh, to the nails, so we don't want to go overly too thick. Blend everything around the cuticle area really nice and gently so you don't hurt Olivia. Okay, and then file this one, so one side, other side, exactly the same, like I always use the same same technique for every single client and I think guys this is really crucial like I'm also happy I'm able to show you um, video of like more nails so you can see it on me working on the both hands because uh, if you've got this routine uh, it doesn't matter if someone comes in like if the phone goes on if someone disturb you if you daydream or whatever <laughs> you kind of know where you are because you've got exactly the same routine and I think it's really important Okay, so what I'm doing with this one, I quite like it, like I really quite like it. Just thin it out a little bit. And basically the snail is quite nice and finished with the filing, the rest we do it with the buffer. Yeah, that's what like I was saying about, you know, someone comes in and you still, you still know where you were uh, and just doing exactly the same, uh, same steps. Olivia is staring at those nails. <laughs> okay, next one. So just the same, one side, other side. Free edge. I usually check the client view at the end as well, it's quite uh, helpful. Um, and here is another tip I can give you guys. If you're not sitting straight and your client is not sitting straight, there is no way you could get a straight nails. Like I tend to tilt quite often into one side and all my nails are going into one side. I know I have to watch it and I have to turn it into the, into the client uh, point of view so I can pick up that mistake. But at least I'm aware of it. So same when you're painting a French. If you want to paint like a really nice straight French, you need to sit nice and straight. Otherwise, it's not going to um, to work straight. No crossed legs. No. Yeah. No. 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 Did you have that in painting as well in school? Mm, not really. Not really. Everyone in art has bad posture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like painting yeah. at different <laughs> angles.
So you can see it when I start doing a glitter encapsulation I remember to going like really bulky and and thick and then over filing my glitters all the time So this sponge trick is uh, a really uh, good one guys I mean, it's depending how you apply the glitter, sometimes you can put it nice and flat, but in most cases they will be always that really stubborn one which sticks out far too much from the rest of the nails. No, from the rest of the glitter particles. But it's a not big deal as well. Even if you overpile a glitter, you can always add it on a little bit more. So I'm checking again, like how they look. That's okay. It's fine. It's just a Liga set. Then bath the entire nail with the buffer. Look, I'm not. Um, I'm holding her uh, nail folds to protect it, and I'm also not going too close to the cuticles. Uh, like really just buff it from the top and also buff the thumb from the top as well okay remove the dust and then go with the other buffer okay so after you have finished with the white buffer we're going with the gray buffer and the gray buffer is kind of more precise um, and also it's easier for me to reach the corners like to go very close to the cuticle um, and I quite like like working that way as well so I've got the entire contact um, with the nails for a better shape I can even take some roughness away from it bath it really well we will have to trim cuticles as well a little bit and then bath this one I'm going to do exactly the same on the other hand and then we can move on into the next part of the design which is a cuticle work and then the marble okay messy part done so i can switch off the fan remove the dust from them tidy up her cuticles minimalistic <laughs> don't tie like with it. them you like it i like it i like i like simple nails you like simple nails yes. okay like it when there's too much going on or too bulky or too, too bulky uh-huh like full color i don't like actually full color on my nails either like i like the feel of gel mm -hmm. i only like full color if it's short nails mm -hmm. uh, and it's some, a color like black i like black nails too yes i had it many times other colors like a f other Full color with other colors other than black, I don't like. <laughs> they feel too thick. You've got the same thinking. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> That's why you're having baby boomers so often. Yep. They're also easy to do on myself. <laughs> Very easy. Because <laughs> I can be messy and it looks fine. I don't have to stay within lines. I like crumbs on my nails as well. I really like. You don't like chrome look. I think they're pretty. I just not, not my, your not not on my hands. Not they're pretty on my tea. hands. That's all I meant. I just don't want them on my hands. <laughs> okay. Mermaid's all right. It's like the mermaid on white or on the gel. Mhm. Mm I like that. I love this angel chrome. It looks pretty. Okay, 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 clean them well. And then let's start doing this marble. And you know what? What about some leaves with the marble? 
in white? In white, yeah, because you wanted some white. I think yeah. it will look cool. We can do it on one or because you wanted possibly a. Can we do the pink glitter then? No. <laughs> no, we can't do pink glitter. Uh. No. You can do it yourself. <laughs> I I feel like it's reddish. Have you seen it? Okay, bring it the glitter then. So I I my idea is a mixture of this color 238. Olivia is now going to think three I times. I used it in this. Oh, she's showing off now with her nails. She did. On my hands. <laughs> On her hands. Did yeah. you have it on the white? Then it. It goes more pink. Okay, so she suggests uh, Rockstar 193. I feel like it's... Okay, it is sort... Okay, we'll see. It's not too bad. Right? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I see. Uh, 238. Oh, it's bright. Yes, but don't worry. I wanted this color because we are going to mix it with 173. Yes, I know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and like, it will look really not bright. <laughs> Like, really not bright. It will be very pale pink. And then... Ooh. Ooh, what? Have you used this brush for marble before? I actually feel like it's fantastic. I haven't. I started doing my marbles differently, actually. Okay. I've started, instead of doing it on the piece of paper and then lifting it onto the nail, uh -huh. I've been painting the nail, for example, the white. Uh -huh. Or sometimes heavenly. Uh -huh. And then... Painting on the, for example, the pink. See? Is it that bright? Oh, it's quite bright. No. It's Just pretty. Just a wee bit. It's awesome. I like my pastels. So I'm doing more into the middle. Don't go too close to the cuticle. Break that brightness so Olivia doesn't cry. I think it's pretty. Okay. Too bright. It's fine. It's a wee bit bright for me, but it's fine. Okay, so you're painting with white. How do you do the marble then? If I do a full, full nail, then I'll paint it, and then I'll um, go on with the color. So, for example, paint it white, not cure it. Paint mm -hmm. it white, not cure it, and then go in with like the pink and the glitter, and it melts into it. Okay. That's kind of like you know, like the marble we have in the kitchen. Mm hmm. Where it's not as almost messy, mm -hmm. it's good for that. That's very messy marble. What? This one, but it's, oh, I like this color. Is it that bright? You want more white in it? Maybe just a wee bit. It's not as delicate now. It's more in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I know you like it. That's why I feel bad saying anything. No, no. Because it is very pretty. Just more white through it. Just, just a wee bit more white. Yeah? Yeah, that's better. Thank you. You're very <laughs> welcome. <laughs> very delicate now, yeah? Now, guys, you can see it. I did um, miss the sides. There isn't a product in the sides, but uh, there is a reason for it. I don't want to go too close with the messy brush. Cure it. Um, I will use the deliner brush and just touch it up after the product is cooked. See, I think we wouldn't be able to achieve those kind of nice uh, color with the different one, if it will be too light. Mm -hmm. 
think she's my most picky client. Picky client, very picky client. <laughs> mm. I am very particular of how my nails are done. Yes. I am the same. Because I know what I want. <laughs> That's why I do my nails myself. Okay, more white. <laughs> more, more white. I like this color of the marble. I think it's so pretty. And the white leaves, like, I didn't want to also do it too light because we are going to introduce some white leaves to it. Change. So now, change. Put a tiny bit more pink on the fun. Change? <laughs> you want more pink on the fun? It's just so it's matching now. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, she's terrible. Yeah, very. <laughs> <laughs> You're mocking my love. <laughs> no, I don't. Mine is cuter. <laughs> no. It's, just... <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Like a horse. <laughs> Change. Oh, stop distracting me. I'm sorry. Okay, now, guys, mm -hmm. with the fine brush, we are going to touch up the details. So I'm picking up it quite messy, and I'm just touching up in a messy way as well. Change. And change. So, Olivia, you wanted some of this glitter in. It's too late now. You're meant to put it into the marble. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. See you. So, I meant to put it through the mar marble. Yeah. Can I not do it now? I mean, you can, but it's. I don't know how well it's gonna work. Because now it's not gonna fade. That's why I was like, oh, the color's fine. Because it would melt into the colors. I wouldn't do it either. Just don't add it. This <laughs> <laughs> is red! Because you're meant to put it in with the marble. It's red. <laughs> no, let's do my version. version. I already told you it's fine because you missed the step. <laughs> <laughs> She's spoiling my video, guys. <laughs> the next one you will record. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're using the white now. Thank you, bye. bye! Okay, we're using white to lighten up this set. And to paint some tiny wee leaves and white. Olivia is quiet because she don't know if she like it yet. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. Why? Because you pointed out the fact I'm quiet. <laughs> You're quiet because you either don't like it. I like it. I like it better. <laughs> and? <laughs> and? On the bright flags. Yes. This one every single nail. Yes. But just in a random way. Mm -hmm. So here only a wee tiny one. It's 
So we of course don't cover your butterfly because that's the only one we managed to get in for Olivia's butterfly set of the nails. I get one thing at least. At least. See, I love this color of the marble. It is just a perfect one. The other one would be too... 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 Not a little one. Somehow, let's squeeze it in. No, the no. two one on the top. Oh, we agree. <laughs> we do agree. I wanted three. I, I, I thought that from the beginning. I was like, no, it's not going to fit. It will fit, look. No, don't. Don't, yes, don't, it will. It's going to be too much. No. Let me have the butterfly be the centerpiece of that. <laughs> I'm doing a microscopic leaf. There is just missing those microscopic leaf. Hiya, we send bed. Yes, that's okay. Uh -huh. Would you like light on or the stand up one? Um, stand up, please. Mm -hmm. So I'm just finishing off those microscopic leaf and I'm gonna leave Olivia with this leaf <laughs> so she can think if she wants to keep it or not okay that's we sent the client on the sand bit and Olivia had oh you wipe off the excess of the paint you did mm -hmm. you didn't wipe off the leaves no. you didn't what do you think of them just be honest Feels like a lot starting to happen. <laughs> no, but the other one was too plain. I like the nails. <laughs> so you should book in with different new versions and then update them yourself. It's a lot of going on, but still very delicate, don't you think? So did you like them better with the out of leaves? I think so. Or at least... Leaves in the marble were fine. And I guess then the butterflies would not have enough going on. Yes. So then I would just end up skipping on the leaves. I don't know. I think it just the leaves just blends everything in. No, they're pretty. They're very pretty. Then on this one, just a wee tiny one. I feel like this glitter is quite invisible. If that makes sense. Invisible. Like very delicate and mm -hmm. I want something to pops out from this set. It will be a little bit more noticeable once the top coat's on. I know. Hopefully. Okay. 
I think that is better. Show me the other hand. See? This one is plain. This one is nicer. I can wipe them off if you want. Yeah, yeah, keep them. But do you like them or are you just saying because we're recording? I think they're very pretty. I just like plain nails, but I'm going to keep them. <laughs> are you going to begin with me again? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, that's a pleasure <laughs> to do your nails. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. <laughs> You'll need to do my toes then. Okay. All those pretty chrome with white. Mm -hmm. Or you could do the marble with leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually love them like this. On toes. On toes? Yeah. Mm. You could get the designs on toes as well. I think it will mm. look cool. Oh, pretty. Very pretty. Cook them in. Now on this hand we are going to do leaves in different places because Olivia wanted a lighter marble so this hand is a little bit lighter and I need to blend it in. So the butterfly leaf here. A microscopic one. So Olivia doesn't complain. That's it hidden her butterfly. But I did say butterfly. <laughs> right. Good? Mm -hmm. So here we place a huge one. I also, uh, for the leaves, you can paint like as many different uh, ways and uh, by prolonging them, I feel like they are more exotic leaves um, and you could make them much more rounded as well and they will look completely different too. So because of the colors we have used, I feel like the prolonged ones are a better choice for this set. So here I place my leaf so it doesn't cover the pink. Okay, don't move. It's okay. I forgive you. I love you too. Good. Good. <laughs> So we came to work by car today, actually, and Olivia was driving. Yoo -hoo, yoo -hoo. And then she drives like back, back home. It was a really busy day. Mm. Now my brush is a bit uh, not behaving like the way it should. It's a bit loaded with the paint. I should ideally clean it more. So I can paint a little bit faster, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to do the mistake of the one dot and then Olivia will be upset with her set of the nails. <laughs> Wait, how am I stopping you from cleaning your brush? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just scared you change your mind and you will run away. <laughs> I'm not gonna run away. It's too late now. I've agreed to it. Did you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you didn't. I thought you didn't want the leaves. I, not initially, but I've agreed to it now. Okay. I think that's cured. It's a bit late now.
and then I take ages to paint those leaves. We could be finished. Mm -hmm. It's okay, we stuck in here anyway. So I thought I'm gonna use this time really well, painting those pretty leaves. Hello. Hiya. Okay, the last two nails, guys, we've got to do. You can see it because I have cleaned the brush, it tends to bend better. Like when you've got lots of product uh, on it, it wouldn't give you a nice fine lines and it wouldn't, like it feels even more stiffer. It's heavier. Thank you. Yes, it is heavier. Yay! And just a wee tiny one in that corner. Now, I, I do miss a little bit product in that corner. We will fill up that with the top coat. And that's why also I have placed the leaf in there to kind of hide it. I like to fix my designs uh, as I go. Why are you laughing? Just trying to find a comfortable position for your hand. No, I was trying to find the best place to place those huge leaves. And yes, for the hand, it's not easy. Like when we've got the camera on um, front of my face, you kind of tending to go for awkward position, but at the same time, I don't want to hide the view from you guys. So at least you can see it, what we are doing in here. See, I also feel the smart, like the, Normally for the marble, I like to use something else. So I like to use either a chrome, a uh, transfer foil, or a tiny bit of glitter, or something to don't keep the marble on its own. And obviously, Olivia's pick was... Glitter. Glitter. Which you decided to... Skip. Oh. Yep. <laughs> and then I choose the leaves. <laughs> But you you should um, you need to show me that uh, with the glitter as well. Mm -hmm. I just feel it like the the shade of the glitter wasn't right for this certain set. I love this leaf. Okay, perfect. Cook them in. Okay, that's the pretty. So we have to put just a top coat on them, and then those pretty set for Olivia is uh, finished. I love this one. And they are longer than my nails. Can you believe that? She always had her shorter, much shorter nails. I'll be right back to short ones after. Because I want to be able to play guitar. Yeah. But can you see it? How nicely it bit blended. And the butterfly is visible. It's just flying to those beautiful leaves. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's also lighten up the um, the color choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the marble ones, I tend to put a little bit more top coat, um, just to smooth it out. And if you do put a tiny bit more top coat, I do suggest like you freeze the product. Just a couple seconds of cook so it doesn't run. And uh, there was also a question on one of the comments, guys, like why my top coat always runs. Um, so probably you may be putting it too thick, like I'm always controlling what is going on in there. So uh, if you do put too much in there um, then it can run into your cuticles and if you're still struggling with it you can always top coat like two nails and 
Yeah, you could cure, cure it and do it, too. swap it, it change. Bit. But you know it what I have... You from flooding it and that's Absolutely. Different. Another good tip what I have learned, and I didn't knew it, so that just proves you like doesn't matter how many years you do the nails, there's always something new you can learn, is that um, you basically cannot over cure the gel itself. Like, so when we was building the nails, you cannot uh, over cure the gel, but you can over cure the top coat. And if it's cured for too long, it can do. Did you knew that, guys? Oh, I knew it would yellow it. Cause yes, yes, but no, actually, the high shine, no, like the top coat, can become more dull and not as shiny because it's over cured. Where basically normally you kind of have been thinking like um cure it as much as possible. Yes, so it is more shiny. Yeah, no, I it remember, doesn't work that. I remember you telling me that. Yes. <laughs> so here you can see it, my product start floating the cuticles. I have to slide quickly on top of the other hand, just cook it and freeze it. Uh, never do a flash cue shorter than the 10 seconds as well, like because uh, it could um the top coat wouldn't wrinkle, but I feel like it would interfere it into the cure, cure process. Afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take it back. Do you think it is 10 seconds? Probably not. Probably not. You will be walking with the matte nails. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. I can fix them myself if need be. <laughs> will you have time to fix them? No. Exactly. I never have a time. Took you almost two months to book this appointment. <laughs> and then you don't get what you want. Yeah, because I'm sort of paying you for putting a video out of it. Kinda. So. Yeah, but you I could be. You also pick the design. Yeah, I completely picked the design. You just yeah. give me an inspiration. I want butterfly nails. But anyway, guys, that's that's this set finished. Uh, we have... I did enjoy it. I enjoyed uh, it too. Did you enjoy it too? Yeah. Okay. Um, I will show you what else... See, it didn't cure actually at all. Oh, no. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. It wasn't long enough. Can you see it? It's a bit matte. So we will have to maybe buff this nail. I will check it. Change. But that's the finished results. Obviously, we have to clean this uh, beautiful set, and I actually will clean it. We will go wash our hands, and then I will show you how to fix the other one. Once it out from the lamp, I also like to check for any imperfection. Like you know, if I'm not happy with like a corner here or corner there, you can always touch it up. You can also take a small e-file bit. Like we will need to probably do it on that index finger uh, to fix it. So the overall um final results are like always much much better but i never touch the top coat that's why i'm talking so long now i never touch the top coat until it cools down because that again will affect how shiny it is okay i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do with this uh, hand so you can see it i'm not sure if you can see it it's kind of a bit more dual in that play can you see it we bit. bit yes Maybe. so lift your hand up like fingers up yeah. <laughs> and what i will do it is if something like this happened and i'm not happy with it um i would just give it a gentle bath and because we've got top coat over it we are not going to remove our design uh, but we will re top coat it and make it nice and pretty you just have to give it a couple scratches to it clean the dust and then re top coat it There we are. You can just relax the hand now. And now it will be nice and shiny. Change. And the other hand is ready as well. So just clean it well. And you can guys see it. The entire full results of this pretty set for picky Olivia. Very picky, Olivia. Taking after you. No. Yes, I am picky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably even more picky. <laughs> I like them. They are pretty. They really nice summary. Perfect. But actually, I'm taking after my dad. Yes. Yeah. It is all fault of the cameraman, guys. <laughs> it is all his fault. Ok, 
Okay, show me your other hand. Has it been a minute? Does it be a minute? Yes, yeah. it was a minute. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's how both of those hands look. And we both sending you huge glittery hugs and bye for now.